But all I really wanted to do was reenact the fly. <laughs> What's going on guys? Bienvenidos. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the family, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. Today, I am partnering with Makeup Forever for today's video and it's actually uh, a really funny story. So just so you guys know, before I ever choose to partner with a brand or promote um, a product from a brand, I always give it a test drive because I wanna know if it works and I wanna know if it's good before sharing it with you guys. So the other day, I was playing with these new Aqua Resist Smoky Shadows from Makeup Forever, they're brand new, as well as the Aqua Resist Color Pencil, which are eyeliners, extremely waterproof, 24 hour wear, sweat proof, they're meant to last. And so I was just playing around with the look and I did it just on one eye. And then I went to go shower, completely forgot that I had been playing with these pencils. I got out of the shower, I started to do my skincare routine. When I finally look in the mirror, I'm like, you completely forgot you had on a smoky eye. And it was perfect. Literally still the perfect smoky eye on one eye. I'll insert the clip here. Came out still wearing a smoky eye. <laughs> so conclusion, the product works and uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. That was from my Instagram stories a while back and so today I thought I would recreate that same look. It's an easy two-step smoky eye that you can wear all summer long. Clearly a normal cleanser won't remove it. So Makeup Forever was smart enough to also send me their Sense Eyes Waterproof Makeup Remover. You definitely need a product that's meant for removing long wear makeup to remove these eye pencils. And I'm actually gonna recreate that Instagram story for you guys. So I'm gonna do my makeup, get all dolled up, and then hop in the shower and show you guys the results afterwards. So let's get into the smoky guy. guy. <laughs> let's get into the smoky guy. I'm gonna zoom you guys on in and let's get started. <laughs> okay, I promise you this is gonna be super easy. Just two products on the eyes. The Aqua Resist Smoky Eyeshadow in the shade Coco. Looks like this. I like how big it is too, so it really covers the whole lid space, makes it really easy to apply and work with. And the color is the one right here in the middle. I was debating using the shimmery one, but I want it to be like a true smoky eye. So that's Coco shade or pencil number two. And then uh, pencil number two, Ebony, which is this liner color right here, is what I'm gonna use to create a smoky lash line. These are also ophthalmologist approved, which is great for me because you guys know I have a lot of eye issues. So I feel confident putting this in my waterline. I'm gonna start with the smoky shadow, the thicker pencil of the two, and I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid. Get your blending brush ready because they dry down. Once they dry down, they don't wanna move. They're meant to last all day long, so have your blending brush ready. I'm gonna be using my LH304 brush. Highly recommend you use a synthetic brush for this because if you're using natural, you might ruin it with a cream product. So I'm going to really layer it on close to the lash line, it's really amping up the color there. And there's nothing on my eyes, just a little bit of eye cream. And then I'm just gonna smoke this out. Super easy. And even just like that, you have a smoky eye. <laughs> and by keeping most of the color on the eyelid and then blending it out towards the edges, it almost looks like you're wearing two eyeshadows. And then by adding the liner, it's gonna add even more dimension. And by the way, these pencils are retractable, so you can just push them up from the end. I'm gonna grab an LH303, another synthetic brush. It's a little more dense and shorter, so it's great for more precise work and definitely for smudging out the lash line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and layer it on to the lash line. And also notice when I get to the inner corner, I kind of tuck it in. And I'm gonna fill in the waterline as well, but I just wanted to show you guys that. And once I have it on there like so, start smudging into that other cream shadow. Don't hesitate. If you hesitate, it might dry. <laughs> and these do blend out super easily. I mean, look at that. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna fill in my upper waterline, not my lower line. <laughs> not my lower waterline just yet, but I am gonna sharpen it for you guys to show you with the little sharpener on the end. So you just tuck it in here, give it a little twirl, nice and soft. See that? Because I do like my liner to be nice and pointy. So I'm just gonna tight line with that same liner, keeping it to a two step smoky eye. I have issues with my camera trying to focus when it's that close because I think my head's cut off like this. So I had to zoom out a bit to see if it focuses better. The struggles of filming yourself. Oh, this smoky eye looks so good for only two products. Okay, we are gonna do the skin now. And because Makeup Forever is uh, sponsoring today's video, 
I do want to use my absolute favorite foundation to wear all day long, the Reboot, Make It Forever Reboot Foundation. So let me go and grab that. And before I apply my foundation, since I use the back of my hand a lot, I used the Sense Eyes uh, makeup remover that I mentioned earlier to take off the eyeliner. And look, I got rid of it really easily because when I was just trying to use a wipe, it definitely was not coming off. But look at that. For primer, I want to keep it nice and clean since Makeup Forever Reboot has nice clean ingredients. Uh, so I'm going to be using this Lawless Set the Stage Hydrating Priming Serum. With primer, I used to overuse primer and I honestly feel like that's why I didn't use it as much or didn't like it because it just made my makeup look heavy, feel heavy. And I've learned to use so much less, so much more less, so much less, so much more less. <laughs> I've learned to use way less primer and the results are always so much better when I do that versus trying to slather my entire face in primer. And this is more so hydrating. If it were a pore minimizing mattifying primer, I would keep it just to the center of the face. This has a really nice texture to it. I also hope you guys like this hairdo because this is about to be uh, Melissa summer 2020 hair, natural air dried. And then when it gets annoying, throw it in a ponytail. <laughs> For the Reboot Foundation, I'm using shades Y360. I'm out of breath. Why? <laughs> Why did I do that to myself? Y365 and Y305. I'd like to believe that it is summer and I have gotten a bit of a tan. So that's why I'm adding a little bit of the darker shade. I've been getting some sun with Boomer. Homie loves the swimming pool. He just chills in it. I mean, he plays in it too, but he likes to just sit there and relax, live his best life. I'm just gonna add that same foundation to this edge to clean it up and also get that little crevice on the sides of the nose. And I'm gonna add it underneath the eyes so I use less concealer because I am gonna complete the smoky eye after the foundation and then add my concealer. Going in with the Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow, again in shade Coco number two. And I'm just going to run this all along the lower lash line. Maybe a little less, you don't have to use as much. And then going in with the LH304, smudging it out. When working with cream eye products or cream eyeshadows, you definitely want to conquer the lower lash line before setting with powder. Powder is meant to lock everything in place. And once you've set with powder, things just don't move. So I would definitely recommend adding your foundation all the way up underneath your eyes like I did, and then using a little less concealer and then strategically setting with powder, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do in a bit. And then with pencil number two, Ebony, I'm gonna hold this down so I'm not like, messing up my foundation. I'm gonna fill in the lower waterline, really fill it in. Also make sure you get this outer corner right here. And then you can add a little going outside the lash line towards the outer edge and then smudging it out to complete that smoky eye look. Don't go too ham on the lower lash line like you can with the eyelids just because there's less real estate there, less space for you to blend it out. Instead of covering up your under eye circles, you'll give yourself under eye circles. So just work with a little bit, add more if you need to. And then again with that larger brush, I'm just further smoking it out and I know it's extended really far out, but I'm gonna clean it up again with that concealer brush and foundation. But I just wanna make sure it's really well blended on this outer edge. Now I'm gonna go with concealer and I'm gonna use one more Makeup Forever favorite, the Ultra HD Concealer in shades 34 and 21. I feel like 21 sometimes ends up looking a little too light. So I like adding in 34 to deepen it up a bit. So I'm gonna start pretty low. So normally I feel like when you add concealer and you haven't done the lower lash line, you start pretty high and you add a lot of concealer directly underneath the eye. And because we already have that smoky eye, you don't wanna ruin it or change it. I'm gonna blend very carefully. So again, start low. So start right here. And then once a majority of it is blended out, you're gonna work your way up. And I'm actually gonna grab a brush. That's what I'm gonna do once I get closer. I'm gonna grab a brush to further blend out the pencils underneath the eye. But what you don't wanna happen is you add concealer over the pencil because that can end up looking a little messy, then it's hard to fix afterwards. So just keep it pretty low. And then with the brush, we're gonna blend close to the smoky shadow. So I'm using this Sephora Pro Airbrush Shadow number 30 brush. And I'm gonna very lightly start blending the concealer up really close to that smoky shadow. Tell me that's all the most perfect, easy smoky eye you've ever seen. Like honestly, I don't even think I've worn a smoky eye like this in a while and it was so easy. Sometimes we overcomplicate makeup, but it doesn't have to be. I know I definitely do. All right, now for the powder. Listen up, watch. This is really important for setting these under eyes so that the 
creaminess of the concealer and the creaminess of the pencils don't mesh together and then further create a smoky eye that you don't want. So I'm going to use that translucent powder to also set the cream pencil. I'm gonna take that little smudge brush that I was using on the cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna get it so it's not creasing. It's where I want it to be. It's as smoky as I want it to be. That looks pretty good to me. Then I'm gonna take my LH304. I actually cleaned a, a, a new one, so it doesn't have any product on it. I'm gonna dip it into the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna start blending it right underneath the eye and blending that edge where the shadow meets the concealer. And then same thing up here so it looks blended and not like a harsh edge. And then with the smallest amount, you're gonna dust it onto the actual cream pencils, especially if you crease like I do, to just really lock it in place. The powder is translucent. You definitely want a translucent for this because you don't want it to change the color of the smoky eye or the shadow. And then while I'm at it, I'm also just adding it to any areas that crease like around my nose. And then with my sponge, I'll press the powder in everywhere else. And scene. Now that we can breathe, <laughs> eyeshadow's locked in place, under eyes are locked in place. I'm just gonna run through um, the rest of the steps to complete this makeup. I'm gonna use a matte bronzer on the holes of my cheeks jawline. I'm using this pure bronzing act, matte bronzer, the light shade, because I want something really subtle. And I'm using the Roxette Sigma Beauty Iconic Bronze Brush. Maybe I got a little bit of the tan and now it doesn't even show up, does it? <gasps> okay, I'm switching over to the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked uh, Bronzing Powder number two. Much better. Definitely add some to this outer edge right here to blend the smoky eye into that bronzer. And on my forehead, I'm gonna use a shimmery bronzer. I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer Luminous Bronze Light. I use shimmery bronzers on my forehead instead of a highlight, and I just find that the finish ends up looking so much more natural than slathering my forehead in a highlighter. <laughs> For blush, I'm using this Lawless Vintage Love Blush, something nice and neutral, kind of dusty to go with the smoky eye. The brush is also from Lawless. It's the blush brush. <laughs> I lied, another Makeup Forever product. I'm gonna use the Mist and Fix. This really locks in your makeup. Also makes it look more natural if you're wearing powder, it makes it look more skin-like. So I'm gonna mist myself, let it almost dry down, add a highlight, and then we'll complete the eyes and the lips. I'm gonna use Summer Haze from Artist Couture to highlight. I don't think this one's available anymore. It is seriously my favorite color. I'm going to advocate that Angel bring it back because I just, I love it. And I'm using a Sephora number 62 Pro Fan Brush to highlight. This is more like a matte smoky eye, but I did want to give the illusion that the skin is wet. One of the reasons I love this particular highlight is the tone is perfect, that it doesn't stand out like a gold or like a silver highlight. It's like a nice beigey tone, so it looks very skin-like, at least to me it does. <laughs> and I'm gonna further blend it out with a fluffy brush. This is from Hourglass, double-ended brush, just to make it look a lot softer. For brow gel, I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Endowed. It's got primer and color, and I just want my brows, same thing like with the bronzer, I want it to all look very effortless, not so like chiseled, and this brow product does that for my brows. So I start with the little primer side to make the brows look thicker when you add the color, so I'm mainly focusing it on the tail end of my brow, which is the more sparse area, and then the color. And for mascara, I'm using Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir on my upper lashes and L'Oreal Voluminous on my lower lashes. For the lip, we're gonna do a nice nude, kind of like balm, hydrating lipstick. And I always take the foundation off my lips and then clean up the edge. And then I can outline my lips, so I'm gonna use my favorite lip pencil. It's kind of like a multi-use pencil. It's the Artist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever. Again, whenever I say it's like the last thing I'm gonna use, always know I'm probably gonna pull out some more faves. This is Anywhere Cafe number 600. It's the perfect shade of brown that doesn't look too intense, but it still contours, it still works as like a nude-ish color. It's just like a really versatile pencil. If you guys want a dedicated video on how I outline my lips to look bigger with just lip liner, let me know. You know, I just realized my mascara should have been ultra waterproof because that's probably gonna transfer, but the true test is gonna be the eyeshadow, so we'll focus on that after I shower. Lipstick is Fenty Beauty number 04 Makeout Break in the Slip Shine Sheer Lipstick. 
Woo, okay, this makeup turned out so good that I don't know if I can get myself to just take a shower and take it off, even though that's what I was originally planning on doing. So I'm gonna enjoy this makeup for a bit, work out in it. I'm gonna take off the foundation, but leave the eyeshadow on, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. So I'm gonna touch base with you guys here and there to show you how it's wearing, especially before I hop in the shower, after a workout, all that good stuff. So stay tuned, I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> I just, I can't, like, would you guys wash this off right now? I, I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it, it looks too good. Hey guys, it's me again. It's been about four hours since I applied my makeup. I am gonna take off my base now and go get in a workout. It is 4.03 p.m. and it is also <clears throat> 93 degrees outside and it is also hot in her because we don't have air conditioning <laughs> i'm gonna use these kogano cleansing spa water wipes i'm drinking a celsius if you guys are wondering what this is <laughs> before my workout i'm not used to working out later in the day but today that's what we gotta do here we go say goodbye to this look if you guys loved it it's gone sayonara hasta luego see you later <laughs> look at that layer of makeup I'm gonna keep the brows on also just everything that is on this skin is what I'm taking off. Fun fact, you guys, this is actually what I do on those branded trips that you see a lot of influencers go on. The schedules are usually super tightly packed on those trips. Like we're on the go from the moment we wake up till the evening events. And to save time, I usually will do an eye look that I can wear into the evening. But usually I don't like wearing my foundation all day long. So I'll take it off like this and then just redo my face makeup, but leave on the eye makeup. <laughs> All right, Celsius is kicking in. I'm gonna go work out. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. I'm getting a little quivery here. <laughs> Gotta go get that energy out. <sighs> I feel like I've never looked so glam post-workout. Woo! I'm a mess right now. I'm so hot and red. Um, back from my workout, look at this smoky eye. It has literally not budged. I mean, my hair is kind of a mess. It always gets so frizzy after a workout. Started off as a leg day, turned into a cardio day. The later I work out, the harder it is for me to break a sweat. I usually um, sweat the most first thing in the morning. So it turned into a cardio day. And as you can tell, I'm really red and hot right now. But the smoky eye is on fire. Ay. <laughs> okay, I'm a mess. I'm gonna hop in the shower. The final test of this aqua resist smoky shadow and colored pencils. Here we go. All right, guys, here it is, the final test. I can honestly say I did not mean to wear this makeup all day long like this and it's still going i mean it's finally come off a little bit i did use a cleanser i used the ula henriksen the one in the orange bottle i forget what it's called and rubbed my whole face with it and this is what's left mascara has come off the um aqua resist smoky shadow is still there the liner is definitely still there in the waterline i'm gonna wrap up this video before my face starts to dry out because I honestly did not intend for this video to be this long. I planned on filming in the morning, showering, and that was it, but I just loved the makeup so much. I had to wear it all day long, and here's what we have. It's definitely um, proven that the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow and Color Pencils are long wearing. If you're looking for something this summer that's gonna last, definitely check them out. So I'm definitely gonna use um, a makeup remover like the Makeup Forever uh, Sense Eyes or even like Green Clean, um, anything like that's like a, a balm. Uh, to help remove this or like an oil um, oil cleanser because uh, a normal cleanser isn't gonna remove it and neither will makeup wipes. So yeah, make sure you share this video with anyone who is looking for a long wearing um, makeup product. Subscribe, hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, Mwah. I can't believe I'm sitting here like in a towel <laughs> with a turvy twist, I'm looking ridiculous. So <laughs> yeah. Cut to me still trying to remove this eyeliner. Makeup forever. You guys knew. You knew I was gonna need this stuff. So I'm gonna start with the thick boy. <laughs> oh no, Mimi! <laughs> Makeup! If it wore, were, <laughs> what's wrong with me today?